qualifying heat earlier on, 15 lap feature coming up. We've got three more feature events on the docket here this evening. And the pace car pulls down to the infield with the nine of LaFleche and the 97 of Trudeau in the front row. Green flag from Bobby Blanchett. And here we go. Yeah, there's Trudeau with a great jump at the start. Able to leap into the lead before he gets halfway down the straightaway. And takes Ryan Pompaselli with him in the number 19. They race down the backstretch nose to tail. Here comes Jared Roy. Remember Roy going for four in a row here at Thompson. Besides the fact that he was also a multi-time winner here last year and the champion in the mini stocks. He's trying to repeat this year and is right up there in the third spot already. Off of turn number two, they come on lap number one, and it is a side-by-side -side battle between Pompaselli and Trudeau. Down at the turn number three, Trudeau up on the outside lane, has the preferred groove, if you want to call it here at Thompson, in most divisions, but in the mini stocks, the bottom groove works pretty good. Pompaselli shows that across the stripe, leads the charge at lap number two. Yeah, Pompaselli into the lead. Now Roy with a move down underneath Trudeau. Kevin Moore thinks about taking it three deep as he starts to stick the nose down there, but thinks better of it out of turn two, and will follow Roy on that inside lane down into turn three. And as he Roy drifts up the racetrack, that opens the bottom for Moore, but Moore can't quite get there. He races side-by-side side with Trudeau right now in the battle for third. Off of turn number two, they come. Papaselli with a three-car length advantage over Roy. Moore and Trudeau side-by-side. Side. Down the back straightaways, they go down at the three and four. As Roy closes in a little bit on your leader within a car length now as they come off the corner, they continue to race side by side for third. Almost some contact there. Trudeau slides up the racetrack and Moore grabs the third spot. Yeah, Moore finally making it work down on the inside, goes to third. But he's got to uh, cover some real estate if he's going to catch our two leaders. Ryan Pompaselli out in front of the 19, being chased by Jared Roy in the number one. Then you go back a handful of car lengths to... Kevin Moore in the third spot, and Dave Trudeau running in fourth. Pretty good battle for fifth between Kyle Wing and Rick LaFleche in the number nine. Already a third of the way through this round for the mini stocks as they come off of turn number two. Pompaselli leads the charge by Kyle Wing over Jared Roy. Kevin Moore up to third, Trudeau fourth, Kyle Wing fifth, Rick LaFleche in sixth, and it's Mahalski and Bill Scholler battling for the sixth spot through turns three and four. This time by, they come by, nine laps to go. Papaselli continues to show the way, but Jared Roy inching closer to that back bumper. Yeah, Jared Roy running a, some, a pretty good line here as he stays right with Pompaselli. About a half a car length separate them down into turn three. Pompaselli keeping an eye on the mirror and looking forward out the windshield at the same time, but knows that Roy could make a move at any moment. Off of turn number two, they come. Roy all over the back bumper, down the back straight. Battle for third continues. Trudeau back to the outside of Kevin Moore. They go side by side down the back straightaway. When they come by the uh, start finish line, this time by the cross flags. They'll fly in the air halfway down, halfway to go. Ryan Pompaselli trying to get to victory lane. Jared Roy trying to dethrone him. Yeah, Jared Roy trying to keep his uh, record intact, if you will, as he'd like to get back to victory lane for the fourth time this season in the mini stocks. He's right there with Ryan Pompaselli this time. He'll take a run down on the bottom. Pompaselli trying to hold him off. He is the bottom the quicker way around. We'll find out as they come to the strike. Pompaselli will lead that lap, but Roy is right there. They are door-to-door -door through the first and second turn and Papaselli gets a good run able to sneak back out by a, a half a car length on the back stretch working their way around some lap traffic and Papaselli keeping the RPMs up able to lead that lap once again but Roy is right with him Five laps to go that time by their side by side for the lead off of turn number two these two have opened it up about half a straight away over the rest of the field, and they continue to race wheel to wheel for the top spot down into three and four. Roy with a little bit of an advantage downstairs. Pompaselli trying to hang on to the outside as they come back off of four. Yeah, Pompaselli is hanging in there on the outside. Roy again taking the shorter way around, but 
Pompicelli doing a great job. Up one groove in that number 19. Gets a great launch again out of turn two. Draws even with Jared Roy, and they're side by side into turn three. Off of four they come. Three laps to go. The top two neck and neck off the corner. Last time by Roy, by just a bumper. This time by Roy, by even less than a bumper. A couple inches that time by. Three laps to go. Pompicelli continues to try to hang on to the outside. Roy opens it up just a little bit off of two. Yeah, Roy with a little bit of an advantage this time. Pompicelli, let's see if he can make it stick going down into turn three. But Roy's got the advantage. Pompicelli will try the crossover with only two laps to go. Now Pompicelli will take the inside, and he'll lead that lap by a bumper. Off of four they come. This time by coming up, the white flag will be in the air. Down the back straightaway. Roy settles into the back bumper, tries the bottom, but Pompicelli edges out off of turn number two into three and four. Roy back to the inside. Back off of four. They come. The white flag is in the air. Yeah, they're going to have one more lap to settle this thing. Here's Roy again, charging hard on the inside as they race down into turn three. They're side by side. Here's Roy with a slight advantage and gets back on the throttle out of turn two. Pompicelli stays right with him, does not do the crossover. This time, stays up on the back bumper of Roy, takes a look to the inside, Right up on the back bumper again. Can't get it done. Here they come to the line, and Roy holds on to win. Pompicelli for second. Kevin Moore for third. And the caution flag comes out at the same time. Yeah, um, that was probably the funnest race I've ever had up here since I started racing. Um, i just like to thank them a lot for racing me clean and really hard and making me work for it. I know there's a lot of people here helping you, too. They, they're very wild, and they're, they're very excited that you were able to get it to victory. I know you want to thank them. Um, Veridol's Collision, Colo Excavation, uh, TLZ Welding, um, Salon 41, Jeremoth, uh, Custom Logging, um, Sharp Improvements, Edward G. Roy Trucking, um, my family that's here. Um, I just... I'm... I'm I'm a loss for words, that was such a great race.